What up everybody, welcome back to Fro Publications YouTube channel is always be rich and on this channel we talk about zines and DIY culture you might want to consider subscribing to the channel and help me out by liking the video today we got a zine review and we're going to check out Sea Green Zines the 24 hour zine thing number 2 let's do it so here we have it, 24 hour zine thing uh, you can tell that she used a sewing machine for the edge I always love the sewn edges, look at that, it just looks nice feels like it has a spine so for those that don't know, this is what the 24 hour zine thing is. The 24 hour zine thing is a challenge to make an entire zine in 24 hours. Some make a 24 page zine, some say no thinking about it or planning ahead. The only strict rule is the 24 hour rule. And it has right here 24hourzines.com and so then here is basically the premise of the zine which is I decided to do my 24 hour zine thing like I did last year, make pages, save for the intro, based on suggestions made by friends on Instagram. I think it's a fun way to do things, let people feel a part of it, and challenge me to be creative in ways I might not otherwise be. And I really did enjoy that, that she basically invited a lot of people to participate in this, and like she said, be part of that process, and to mention and recommend things that she otherwise wouldn't have done. And I like that for two reasons. One, she's building community through the zine, as well as two, she's using this as an artistic exercise that will help her grow as an artist. So I, I enjoy this process for those reasons, and I like watching it. The self-importance of self-talk, and then she lists who uh, did it, right? So right here it's at step 83. Talk about how you talk to yourself, right? This one is, Snacks. Now I'm sent them by Blight the Speaks. Suggested doodles of my fave snacks. I like this one a lot too though. And this was from uh, was suggested by Lara Buell. Suggested a page with the theme of forest. I like that page. And like here you can see that she used different papers to make the trees and that just came out looking really nice. A very very clean cut and paste style that you don't see normally. A lot of times when you see cut and paste it's very uh, disorganized very counterculture and kind of punk this is a very very clean very very nice looking cut and paste uh, style and I, and I think it just looks great right playing with the different paper quality and, and like all this is just great right for the tea create your own adventure this is the one I suggested right as you can see down here Comic page suggested by Feral Publication. You know I had to suggest a comic book and it reads, I just like music, a true story by Nyx. Enjoying the sunshine in peace, anxious, hi, insert small talk. What a sort of music do you like? A little bit of everything. Still anxious. Country, rap, classical, jazz, punk, indie, Broadway musicals, weirdly aggressive. Give me something to work with. I just like music that makes me feel something. That makes sense. Sigh. I like it. Look at this one. This is all cut pages. It just it boggles my mind to think that something like this could be created within 24 hours, but she does it. Look at this art. Like that just looks nice. So I've been wanting to do a 24 hour zine challenge, I just never have done it just because I don't ever make the time for it. But I definitely think it is something cool and worth doing and I'm so glad that Sea Green Zines has done it twice in a row and that she showcases it on Instagram. Uh, that's the other thing that she does is that uh, whoever gives a suggestion for, the, for one of the premises or ideas for the pages, they get a zine copy. So, once again, that's the 24-hour zine thing number two by Jamie Nix, also known as Sea Green Zine, also known as Zine Ninja. Uh, go ahead and peep her out. As always, the information will be in the show notes. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lates.